But at one point, the feds came in and, you know, there was charges pending. Now, there's a whole part in the movie where you're wearing a wire. Correct. Did that actually happen? Yeah, so what? Ha- so I'll tell you what happened. It's really, it really interesting. So when I got indicted, right, it was under indictment, and they th- were threatening to indict my wife. So I had no choice but to cooperate, and ev- and everyone in the case cooperated, right? And my lawyer's like, "Listen, you know, you're not gonna have to testify against anyone. You know, they- everyone cooperates in these cases because the way it works in the U.S. is that the the penalties are so outlandishly bad. If you don't cooperate, you're going to jail for 30 years. And if you do, you know, you can get literally two or three years. So everyone in Wall Street pr- pretty much will cooperate. It's very common. 95% of the people cooperate. So I, I cooperated and I was giving them information and then they asked me to wear a wire and it was against a very, cl- and, I, and I wore a wire for them once or twice, but I was being very coy. I didn't get, I didn't do it in a way that would get anyone in trouble, right? Then they asked me to wear a wire against a close friend of mine. The other people I didn't even know. Right. Um, And that was where I drew the line. I said, I can't wrap my friend out. And I slipped my friend a note saying, you know, I'm wired. Don't incriminate yourself. And at that moment, I felt really good about that. I'm like, you know, I'm a really stand up guy and it's the right thing to do and to be strong and not to rat your friend out. Until three months later, they came knocking on my door with a note. He got in trouble and fucking turned me in the guy and showed them the note. And it was at that point, I was like, fuck it. I'm like, I lost all faith in humanity. Then I cooperated and I actually did where I was more aggressive with it. Because after that, I was like, literally, I, this is like the biggest mistake of my life. Because I was facing at that point, when I was caught with that note, 30 years in jail. And I was very lucky that the FBI agent, who I have tremendous respect for, did not press to have me thrown in jail for 30 years. And that could have destroyed my life. And it was that point, I was like, this is it. There are no friends. Everyone's out to fuck you. And then I did more a wire more aggressively. Right. Well, the friend that you talk about wore, wearing a wire for, was that Danny Porish? No. The- so poor Danny got the <laughs> Danny got the whole brunt of it. He had nothing to do with this. Um, it was a completely different person. But what happened in the movie is a lot of characters got collapsed into Danny. So anything bad, Danny did. So Danny like it did not do a lot of the stuff. Other people had done it, but Danny was like that. And they did it a lot in movies. They just try to combine characters and stuff to, for the sake of the narrative. Right. And Danny was your partner when you started the firm and he was played by Jonah Hill in the movie. He wasn't my partner when we, I started the firm myself and had some, uh, one junior partner. And then Danny became a partner about a year later. Okay. Got it. And I guess in real life, Danny really did marry his first cousin. This is true. <laughs> and they hated each other immensely. It was, it was classic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So ultimately you get indicted for securities fraud and money laundering in 99. And you were given a four-year sentence initially? Correct. Okay. And you were basically, you know, charged with scamming people out of $200 million? No. So the, the, so this is the the, the the actual money loss was far, far, far low. It was probably more around 40 to $50 million. That is the real number. Danny was accused for $200 million. Same case. I, they said when it, when it got to me, it was a hundred, it went down to a hundred million dollars. The truth was they didn't know at the time. So they just picked some number of all the money that was sent in, it started at 200, then was reduced to hundred. It's very similar. When anyone gets caught, they would say it was $5 billion and it ends up being a billion. So yes, people lost money, but the number was closer to probably around 40 to 50 million. 